Old Man 1966 comic book haul video. Uh, you may notice I'm in a different spot than I usually am. Uh, I've got some stuff I need to take care of and clean up. I've been looking through my desk and um, I had some random uh, stacks of comics that I needed to take care of. I don't actually smoke a pipe, but I just thought that was really cool. I picked that up a while back. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a pretty cool, uh, it is a pipe that you can actually cover the top. It has a grate. That's kind of neat. Um, as I said, I don't really smoke a pipe, but kind of interesting. I uh, really like the old pipes. So anyway, comic book haul. I picked up uh, Monsters Unleashed. Uh, this is a variant cover. Uh, thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I'm actually recording toward me, so these may be backwards. I may have to switch those somehow. But anyway, I picked up a Batman Adventures number 14. Bad glare, but that's alright. Let's see if y'all can see that. Uh, I picked up Animosity number six. I started picking these up off the wall when they first came out. Uh, actually, this was the first comic I think I'm going to say that I really looked forward to uh, picking up when it was new directly off the wall. So um, I ended up picking up the first one and uh, first printing and uh, have been trying to collect them here and there. I kind of dropped off after about three months of going every month and picking up this comic, but. Eventually, I will pick up all the, the issues. It's pretty cool. Um, I picked up some random uh, war stuff. I got war Stories uh, by Garth Ennis, uh, Matt Martin. Uh, this is a, kind of an odd book, but just anything Ariel I, I really like. So pick that up. I picked up a uh, Rima, the Jungle Girl, number two. Um, kind of the funny thing, I actually picked up a number one of this a while back for a dollar and another dollar bin, so. Just, uh, I always like these. I like the Tarzan, I like the Rima, I like the, uh, Kamandi, is that right? Kamandi? Um, let's see, I picked up some Charlton Comics, uh, World at War. These were always, when I was a kid, um, I guess I'm gonna have to get into some stories here. Um, this is also gonna be my contest entry to Alex Big Blue's contest. Uh, he wanted us to shout out three YouTube channels, so uh, my YouTube channels are going to be uh, Steve over at I Love Disney and Comics. Uh, he has some really cool stuff. Recently he's been picking up some uh, horror, mo or horror movies, probably, but also uh, horror magazines and comics and things like that. Those are some of my favorites, so I always like to watch those. Um, my other shout out is going to be Nostalgia Junkies. Um, I haven't got to watch theirs for a day or two, but I've seen where they went to a second in Charles. Um, that was really cool. It looked like a cool store. I'm going to have to check one out myself. Um, there's one about uh, an hour and a half from us, so I'm going to have to go see that. Um, my third shout-out is going to be old Bill over at uh, Comic Mags and Musings. Um, for his entry to Alex's contest, he actually prize-tagged me uh, to make the, uh, the uh, shipping a little cheaper something along those lines. So, uh, appreciate that, Bill. Um, and that does make it a little easier because Alex is right down the road from me, so, uh, so I'm sure he appreciates that. Um, but, uh, anyway, so Bill's got some really cool stuff. Uh, he likes the Conan books. He likes the old school stuff. The dad jokes are strong with this one, so go check him out. You'll enjoy it. It's pretty awesome. Um, anyway, so those are my three, uh, three, uh, shout outs there. Uh, for Alex's contest, and he also wanted us to tell him what, uh, who, when, where, however you got into comic books. So uh, there's actually a few different origins, I guess, type stories for how I got into comics. Uh, first off, when I was a kid, uh, we were really, I mean, mom and dad went to church and things, and we were fairly religious, and um, so I wasn't allowed to have a lot of comics uh, or anything uh, different. So, uh, I was allowed to have Archie comics, and Foofer, and, uh, Heathcliff, and, uh, I think I even got a few Eek the Cats in there on that one. 
Uh, but anyway, so uh, Ren and Stimpy. I had a few Ren and Stimpy comics. Um, kind of slipped it under the radar. But anyway, so Dad showed up one day from work. And uh, so that was probably one way I got into it was through the Archie comics and that kind of stuff. But anyway, so Dad showed up from work one day and he had like a stack of comic books. And uh, I think uh, probably the first book I really remember reading that was a superhero book was Batman and the Outsiders number one. And that was in that stack of comics. Um, so yeah, so I would say Dad through that and also we watched uh, um, any kind of like superhero shows Dad would watch on TV like, I don't know, Superman uh, with Dean Cain. Um, he watched some Incredible Hulk and the cartoons of Incredible Hulk, randomly. Um, there was some other stuff there. But, uh, anyway, also in that stack of books that my dad brought home were a lot of these war comics. Uh, Fighting Marines. And, uh, Fighting Army and those, those types of things. So... So when I saw these, I picked these up. Um, yeah, these are actually UK versions. I guess that's... The store that I bought these from, um, they had just a lot of random stuff every once in a while. And I think they may get some of these from overseas or something. I don't know. Fighting Army. Uh, this was kind of a random change-up from uh, the store I went to in Owensboro. Uh, the Punisher meets Archie. Uh, I've never read these. I've always seen these around. Archie meets the Punisher and Punisher meets Archie. Uh, always was kind of interesting because I grew up reading Archie comics. So, yeah. Oh, so back to my story. I'm getting a little scattered here, and I'm sorry, Alex, for that. But uh, my other influence would, of course, be Alex and his brother. Uh, they always had comics around, always whatever, so I'd check some of theirs out from time to time. But uh, ultimately, it became something that we did as buddies to get together and go, and uh, it was a good time. So uh, that kind of also got me into that, and as they got more interested in collecting as we got older, the more I started to collect, too, so... Um, I'm sure you guys don't know what this is. Uh, it's not in the greatest shape, but I bought this at a really reasonable price. Um, of course, it's Spider-Man number 400. Um, just a pretty cool book. Uh, but i got to get through these. This video is going to be forever long. But uh, Okay, I don't usually buy books that are in this bad of shape, but uh, this one had to be the exception for me. Um, I was at a peddler's mall, and... The guy had this in there for like two bucks. So I was like, alright, it's worth two dollars for me to take this book from 1947 home and read it. Uh, it's funny stories, or funny stuff, uh, from D.C. Uh, May 1947. But yeah, just, uh, I don't know, just a cool looking book. I mean, look at that. Is that not worth two dollars to have that sitting around? Look at that Wheaties commercial, or advertisement. That's awesome. So anyway. Um, I picked this up just because I wanted to read it. It's in probably the worst shape of any comic that I've ever bought in my entire life. But uh, the guy gave me a good deal on a different book, so I was like, ah, I'll take this on vacation with me next month and read it. Um, that's Green Lantern number 73, of course. And I also picked this one up at that same place. Amazing Spider-Man number 78. Uh, some fella named The Prowler shows up pretty cool book. You can't beat these covers. I mean, look at that. The colors and the... Just an awesome cover. Alright, I've got to get through this, I know. Uh, another place I stopped at. I uh, picked up Marvel Super Heroes number 18 a while back. Well, that's probably been a year ago now. But uh, I was at a uh, antique store and I just happened to see Marvel Super Heroes Presents Kazar. It was uh, number 19, so... I like my Marvel Super Heroes. Pretty awesome. And also on the back, it had uh, Kazar number two. So, just really cool. Really awesome cover. If y'all can see that, if I can get it in frame. Alright, and uh, my wife and I's anniversary was a while back. Well, actually, last Monday. So, um, I came home and she had me a comic book waiting here for me. Uh, she's big on the cover. She really likes the uh, J. Scott Campbell stuff. And so she had got on there. And I mentioned a while back how much I like this Stacy cover. And with the top loader, it's really hard to see. But uh, 
So I got home and she had this here waiting for me. So happy anniversary, babe, and thanks for that. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, actually, uh, second book I've ever had in a top loader. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. And then last but not least, there's two books here. Um, I was at my LCS looking around and digging through a box, and I was kind of trying to be quick. And I happened to come across this one first. Um, that is Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. It's number two. It's a variant cover. But uh, I don't know if you can see that. That was just one of the coolest covers. Uh, she's got her headphones on there. Um, just a really cool cover. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to take that home. So I dug around a little further and I found the Harley variant of that same that is just, that's really awesome. I really, really like those books, so brought those home with me. Um, but anyway, so this is going on forever. I mean, it's taking absolutely forever for me to get this done. So, uh, ultimately, I hope I met all the criteria, Alex. If I didn't, then holler at me, let me know what I need to do, or I can make another video. I don't care. Either way, uh, just go comment, like, subscribe to Alex Big Blue Stuff. He's a good dude. He's a good guy in the comic community. He's very supportive of everybody. Um, just, just a good dude. So, uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I look forward to checking these books out. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. So, y'all have a good afternoon. Nova Man 1966 is out. Thank you all.